Hi, my name is Jude and I ride motorbikes. In this video, I'm going to discuss how the shape of your head potentially affects where you buy a helmet from if you're considering either an Arai or a Shoei. You may have heard that helmets sold to the Japanese market have a different fit to those sold in Europe. Is that true? Well, stick around to find out. But first, we need to see how head shape differs between individuals. So let's take a look. This is Katie. Katie is a white British female, and as you can see, she has a fairly oval shaped head. If we describe the top of her head as an ellipse, the eccentricity of that ellipse is 0.44. Eccentricity is a term used to measure the ovalness of an ellipse, and can be calculated using this formula. An eccentricity of 0 would be a perfect circle, so as that number moves further away from 0, the more oval the ellipse. This is my head. I'm mixed European and Southeast Asian, and I've inherited a head shape that's common in the Far East, one that's more round. If you ignore the funny egg shape, and create an ellipse using the x and y axes, you get an eccentricity of 0.32, which is closer to 0 than Katie's, and therefore more round. Katie and I have the same head circumference of 55cm, but if you overlay the two head shapes, you can see mine is wider across the ears, but shorter front to back. Several studies have been conducted which specifically investigated head shape and how it affects the fit and safety of personal protective equipment like crash helmets. Ethnicity does seem to play a significant role in determining head shape, as this scatter diagram shows. Red dots are Chinese heads, blue are American and European heads. Note how similar this diagram is to the one comparing my head with Katie's. But there is also variation between people with the same ethnicity, as this graph of a German study demonstrates. While the majority have an intermediate oval shape, there are still a significant number of people either side who have either a rounder or more oval head. In fact, the width variance for a 58cm circumference head was 3.5cm. One helmet size cannot possibly offer the best fit for all head shapes. This has safety consequences, since gaps between the skull and the liner result in less than optimal protection. So now we've established that my head is on the rounder side. How does that affect what crash helmet I choose? The last Arai that I bought in the UK was this QV. Before I started investigating this topic, I didn't understand why this helmet didn't feel as comfortable as previous Arai I've owned in the past. I contacted Arai and explained my dilemma. I told them what head shape I have and what helmet I, was, I had purchased. This was their response verbatim. Currently, all our collections are designed for the intermediate oval, so it should be fitted on both round and oval shaped heads. However, sometime we see people with long oval shaped, triangle, square, etc, etc, in not only the UK, but also other regions too. As it's getting racially diverse in today's society, the head shape may change in the future. They did suggest, however, I could customise a fit by tweaking the lining. So this is how you customise the fit of an Arai crash helmet. This is the liner from my Arai QV, and these are the cheek pads. This liner's uh, seven millimeters thick. They also do a five mil and a 10 mil liner for the small shell size. But in addition to the thickness of the liner as well, there's also on the sides, these bits of foam, if you can see that, which you can remove, these are five mil thick bits of soft foam, which you can take out to give you a little bit more width and therefore a more round shape. This is Arai's attempt to tweak the fit of the helmet so that it, 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 it fits better. The cheek pads as well, these are also, um, these also come in different sizes. Uh, these are 20 millimeters thick. Um, the ones that I've got in my current helmet are 35 millimeters thick. Uh, but also, the cheek pads, a bit like the liner, have removable layers of foam. Again, to give you a little bit more customization. But, saying that, what you really want is for the helmet to fit as well as it can before you start messing around with the liner. It was my purchase and subsequent disappointment with this helmet 
that instigated my investigation of head shape and helmet fit. I had read in a few places online that showy and Arai helmets sold to their domestic markets have a different fit, a more round fit. I decided to test this claim and I imported an Arai and a showy helmet directly from Japan. Okay, so these are the two helmets that I bought from Japan. One showy Hornet Ad Adventure, uh, which has the same name here in the UK as it does in Japan. And this one, which is the Arai RX7X. I basically waffle on about how the two helmets I imported from Japan definitely feel rounder than their UK counterparts that I tried on in the shop. Since I wasn't in a position to spend a thousand pounds on buying both the Japanese and UK versions of each helmet, I wasn't able to provide a direct comparison here. So I did the best I could and measured the eccentricity of the four helmets I do own. This is my wife's showy NXR. This UK market helmet has an eccentricity of 0.65. Next is the UK spec Arai QV with 0.63. Then the Japanese Shoei Hornet with an eccentricity of 0.56 and finally the most round of all, the Japanese Arai RX7X with 0.54. This is the clearest demonstration that I can do in this video which illustrates my assertion that Japanese market Shoei and Arai helmets have a different fit to the European versions. Why do Arai and Shoei make their Japanese helmets have a different fit? If the majority of the people buying your crash helmet have a certain shaped head, then the helmet that you're trying to sell to them should, should suit that head shape. So in Japan, it's rounder. Uh, in places like North America and Europe, uh, it's, it's more oval. Which is a dilemma for someone like me because the, the shape that Arai and Shoei want to sell to me in the UK isn't ideal. Um, which means that, yeah, I've had to import these from Japan and uh, they fit great. That's it for now. Check out the descriptions for links to the studies that I used to help me make this video. I hope you found the information useful. Thanks so much for watching. Ride safe.